By the end of the decade, the National Breast Cancer Foundation aims to achieve zero deaths from the disease, but the Towards 2030 report card has revealed a detrimental impact of COVID-19 on research projects. Most of them either stopped or were delayed uh, or were reduced in size. You can't just kind of turn the tap off and then turn it back on. It doesn't work that way. Of 64 leading Australian researchers, 90% anticipate their programs will take more than 12 months to recover. It's really scary in terms of, of thinking that one year means you could miss so many women, make a difference in terms of giving them extra days, years or, or a whole lifetime in terms of, of being able to beat this disease. What we're losing is the next generation of discoveries and, and treatments and diagnostics and so on that will inevitably be delayed. 93% have listed funding as their number one constraint. We we run on the smell of an oily rag, generally speaking. They need those additional injection of funds um, and they need to rebuild their labs. It's feared many world-class researchers are leaving the sector permanently as a result. What it means is that we're, we'll be kind of using yesterday's medicine for a little bit longer instead of tomorrow's. An estimated 20,000 Australians will be diagnosed with breast cancer this year alone. Claire Todd-Hunter, Sky News.